Some car companies perceive luxury as being ostentatious, loud and large, true luxury cars are made from the finest materials, feature the latest onboard technology, and deliver the most refined experience for passengers. In previous decades, the luxury car segment has been synonymous with saloons. But these days, there's an increasing choice of premium SUVs on sale too, meaning the competition for the title of best luxury car has never been tougher. So in this video, we are going to discuss top 10 luxury car in 2023. But before starting the video, be sure to smash the like button and subscribe to never miss out on any of our videos. Number 10. Bentley Flying Spur Luxury and performance are qualities synonymous with Bentley motor cars, and the Flying Spur is the brand's small four-door limousine. It uses an extended version of the Continental GT Coupe's platform and comes with a choice of a V6 plug-in hybrid, a 4.0-liter V8, or a 6.0-liter W12 engine. No matter which engine you choose, this 2-ton-plus saloon delivers a sub 5 seconds 0.62 miles per hour time. Naturally, the W12 offers the highest top speed at 207 miles per hour. The Flying Spur offers majestic levels of refinement, and it's so well insulated and refined that even the roar of the twin-turbo 6.0-liter W12 engine is merely an underlying soundtrack. As with all Bentleys, the Flying Spur is beautifully finished inside with the finest wood and leather trim, so occupants can be carried in supreme comfort at high speeds. Bentley's Millenner customization program also means you can have your Flying Spur specified to your every whim. Number 9. Genesis G90 Genesis redesigns the G90 for 2023, and the resulting product is absolutely stunning. Between its head-turning design and high-quality cabin, the second-generation G90 looks and feels far more expensive than its sub-$100,000 asking price. That said, the big Genesis still needs a bit more polish to truly overtake its German rivals. With a smidge more dynamic prowess, a slightly more compelling powertrain, and the fitment of features such as wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. The G90 may just manage to take the top spot in this small but competitive segment. Number 8. Ferrari 812 The Ferrari 812 is the latest in a long line of Ferrari Grand Tours, a coupe and a hardtop convertible that are all about glitz, glamour, and power. Under the bonnet is a fire-breathing V12 powertrain that makes anywhere from 789 to 812 horsepower depending on trim. The Ferrari 812 is a two-seater vehicle that comes in one trim level. The most popular style is the convertible, which starts at $405,450 and comes with a 6.5 liters V12 engine and rear-wheel drive. This 812 is estimated to deliver 12 mpg in the city and 15 mpg on the highway. Glorious V12 exhaust sounds. Every drive feels special. The gorgeous interior is subtly high-tech. Number 7. BMW 7 Series The exterior design of the new 7 Series might not be to everyone's taste, but where a luxury car needs to deliver is on the inside and mainly in the back seats. Of course, up front, there's the impressive 12.3-inch and 14.9-inch curved display nabbed from the X, but in the rear, a hopping 31.3-inch screen awaits, folding down from the headlining. It's also possible to spec a 36-speaker, 1,965-watt Bowers and Wilkins Diamond sound system. There's much more to the latest 7 Series than just technology. BMW's Merino leather features as standard in the cabin, and is available in five different colors. Alternatively, you can choose the leather-like Veganza trim as a no-cost option. There's even a BMW individual option made from a merino leather and cashmere combination. For those seeking a quiet powertrain, the all-electric S7 will be a blessing with its 388-mile maximum range, but upcoming plug-in hybrid versions of the 7 Series should be highly refined too. Both PHEV offerings come with a 197 bhp electric motor combined with an inline 6 turbocharged petrol engine. The 750 X Drive offers 486 bhp and 700 Nim of torque, 
which should be enough to make overtaking lesser cars a doll. But if you want to embarrass sports cars in your luxury limo, the 760 EX Drive packs 563 BEP and 800 NEM. Number 6. Mercedes-Benz S-Class The Mercedes-Benz S-Class remains the cream of the full-size luxury set-in crop. No wonder a six-cylinder S500 took top honors over the Genesis G90 and Lexus Ella's 500 in a recent comparison test. Credit the big Merc's opulent insides, as well as its ability to serve as both a cosseting luxury barge and a surprisingly engaging not-quite-sport sedan. No matter the seat you occupy in an S-Class, you're sure to feel satisfied. That said, not everything in the S-Class is perfect, as Mercedes' latest infotainment system is wanting. Blame a lack of physical buttons, as well as difficult-to-operate steering wheel controls. Still, neither of these facets of the S-Class is bad enough to undermine the car's better qualities, which is why Mercedes' flagship gas-powered sedan retains the top spot in the full-size luxury sedan segment. Number 5. Bugatti Chiron Supersport 300 Plus It became the first hypercar to cross the 300 miles per hour mark. It set the tone for other manufacturers to work with, and today, now have hypercars with more than 300 miles per hour top speeds. Featuring a monstrous 8.0-liter W16 quadruple turbocharged engine that produces 1600 up and 1180 lift of torque, the hypercar can reach 60 miles per hour from a standstill point in just 2.3 seconds. The pricing for the Bugatti Chiron Supersport 300 Plus starts from 3.5 million euros EUR which is approximately $4 million USD at today's exchange rate. This 1,600 mega machine doesn't officially hold the world record though, as it only did that run in one direction. Number 4. Lexus LS If you love giant grills, the plastic basket on the front of the Lexus LS is sure to please. It's one of the largest sedans from Japan sold in the United States, and its smooth and potent 416 twin-turbo V6, makes it feel like more than just a fancy Toyota. There's also an LS500, a hybrid model, that combines the power from a V6 and two electric motors to produce a peak output of 354 horsepower. We think it makes more sense to avoid the hybrid given its higher price and limited fuel economy improvement. With an EPA-rated combined range of 25 Mach, the LS500M manages to improve upon the combined figure of the LS500 by a mere 3 mach. Avoid going heavy on the options and the LS's relatively inexpensive base price makes it a reasonably compelling option. That said, once you close in on the six-figure mark, you're probably better off looking at one of Lexus's German or Korean competitors. Number 3. Pagani Zonda HP Barchetta the Pagani Zonda HP Barchetta is the most expensive car in the world. It adds on to the already incredible legacy of the Pagani Zonda and features a rather unique look. The rear wheels are partially covered by carbon fiber, the windshield is smaller than usual, and the car itself is roofless. The Barchetta peaks at 789 bhp with a top speed of 221 miles per hour. It is the fastest and most powerful Zonda model ever produced. It's safe to say this car is a thing of beauty. Number 2. Bugatti La Voiture Noir Bugatti La Voiture Noir is the most expensive car in the world in 2023. It has a top speed of 261 miles per hour, making it the world's fifth fastest production car. There is only one Noir ever been produced and is owned by the well-known football player Cristiano Ronaldo. Number 1. Rolls-Royce Cullinan. The Cullinan is one luxury SUV. That said, it is not to everyone's taste. There is no escaping the fact that it looks weird and disproportionate. If you can get over that, it is the epitome of luxury SUVs with enough bells and whistles, and a 6.75-liter twin-turbocharged V12 that punches out 600 pounds and a healthy 900 nem. What makes the Rolls' first SUV special is its magic carpet ride exquisite interiors and all-wheel drive setup. Oh, and the Cullinan black badge just happens to be the darkest version out there. 
Let us know your opinion in the comment section below. This was all for today. Hope you liked the video. Do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Stay safe and we will be back soon with another video. Hey, in this video, we are going to talk about the 5 most expensive luxury limousines. Before starting this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel for future updates. Let's get started. Moreover, limousines today are not restricted merely to extensions of large, top-of-the-line luxury automobiles. Today limousines can be, and often are, fashioned from sport utility vehicles, SUVs, vans, or even certain types of large cab pickup trucks as often as they are fashioned from large luxury sedans. The limousine industry is worth an estimated $4 billion. Finding the world's most expensive limousines is simple enough, but finding the world's most luxurious limousines is a genuine matter of individual taste. Number 1. Cadillac XTS Limousine Entry Level Price $48,635 Essentially, this is an expansion of Cadillac's XTS sedan, with the full-stretch models featuring three doors on either side of the car. Introduced in 2012, the XTS limousine is built either in Ontario or Shanghai and features all-wheel drive, as well as a six-cylinder engine. The formal car, or non-stretch variant, includes such luxury additions as a suite headliner on the inside roof of the vehicle, illuminated door handles, a rear center console, and onboard navigation. Both the formal car and the stretch packages offer such options as surround sound premium audio, ambient lighting, heated seats, rear seat climate controls, and side and rear window shades, as well as the standard leather seating and onboard bars. Number 2. Lincoln MKS Limousine Entry Level Price $49,800 Built by the Ford Motor Company in Chicago, this is a stretch of the MKS four-door sedan. Unlike the XTS, the full-stretched MKS limousine does not feature an extra door on either side, but the car does feature a choice between front and all-wheel drive. Lincoln introduced the MKS limousine in 2013 after its MKZ crossover proved a far less than popular successor to the Lincoln Town Car limousines that were the most commonly used chauffeur limousines in the United States and Canada for over three decades. Ford's decision to discontinue the town car after 2011 left Lincoln to seek an alternative and the brand ultimately decided on the MKS. Number 3. Percy KN Limousine Entry Level Price $75,000 A stretched version of Porsche's KN SUV. The limousine is powered by an eight-cylinder engine. Based on multiple sources, including customer reviews, the KN Limousine's most popular feature seems to be its onboard sound system, which some customer reviewers liken to a full concert-level audio presentation. The vehicle is a CD and DVD player, compatible with three flat-screen television sets in some variants, and most customer reviews praised its sophisticated onboard bar system as well. This super-luxurious limousine features a huge 160-inch stretch, a center jet wing door, and all the interior features you expect from the well-appointed Hummer Limos range. Finished in super-glossy black and seating up to 12 passengers, this Porsche limo is ideally suited to couples looking for that special wedding limo. Number 4. Hyundai Equus Entry-level price $113,000 Basically, Equus is Hyundai's version of Dignity. Mitsubishi co-manufactured the original Dignity with Hyundai, and the South Korean automaker decided to market its own version as the Hyundai Equus. The Equus limousine is a formal car with a slightly longer wheelbase than the standard Equus Satan, featuring rear seat leg support. The standard engine is a V6, but Hyundai also offers a V8 in the armored version of the car. Very little is known about the limousine outside Korea because the car has not yet been marketed extensively in the United States. But basic features include powered footrests, leather seating, wood trim, rear leg supports, and even a massage system inside the seats. Number 5. Cadillac 1. Price $300,000. There is a reason for only one flat price listing. The Cadillac 1 has only one customer, the President of the United States. 
based on the DTS four-door sedan, the successor to the former, venerable DeVille line. The Cadillac 1 is not a limousine you can buy for a standard car service. The car is built atop a Chevrolet Kodiak commercial truck drive train and features headlights derived from the Escalade SUV and rear lights derived from the CTS sedan. Other than that, there are reasons why the automotive press likes to call it the car that thinks it's a tank. What do you think about this video? Do let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go. Every car starts in the prototype or concept car phase, and a good concept can make or break the future of a nameplate. Some concepts are lucky enough to make it to production, while others like the Ford 427 of 2003 never sees the light of day after a few car shows, despite any hype or popularity that the car might have had. In this video, we will take a look at the top 10 incredible concept cars you should see. So before we get started, make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for our future updates. Number 10, 2023 Acura Integra. After over a decade out of production, Acura is restarting the Integra nameplate with the hopes it will be ready for consumers in 2023. Introduced in fall of 2021 and on the verge of entering the prototype phase, things are looking good for its reintroduction. According to Acura, the new Integra will only be available as a CETA, not a coupe base like previous versions had. This is also set to be Acura's most affordable car. Starting prices are likely to be around $30,000. Number 9. 2024 Aston Martin Vanquish Aston Martin still has a lot of work to do on this car, but they are on track and working hard, much to consumers' anticipation. Set to be a mid-engine supercar instead of a front-engine GT like other Aston Martins, the Vanquish is poised to have some incredible features. For one thing, engineers plan to replace the V12 engine with a 3.6-liter V6 with some hybrid elements to up the car's fuel economy and to meet government emissions regulations. Engineers are hoping to see to it that the car gets 700 horsepower. Number 8. 2025 Cadillac Celestic Cadillac is planning to enter the market for electric vehicles, EV, and plans to do so with the Celestic as its flagship EV. Designs so far feature all-wheel drive, four-wheel steering, and transparent glass roof panels. While the design is very sleek, the car will face an uphill battle if it joins the EV market in 2025, as is Cadillac's goal. This EV is on track to have a 300-mile range, which is fair for an EV but most Teslas, which are already in production, can achieve that. Also, Teslas are much more affordable than the Celestic is poised to be. Critics estimate that it will have a six-figure price tag. Number 7. Sony Vision S02 Yes, Sony, the company that makes TVs and cameras and speakers is planning to enter the market with a compact SUV. Aiming to compete with EVs and cars like the Ford Venusa, the Sony Vision S02 so far is one of the more interesting concept cars. Reveal at CES, this SUV is a variation on an earlier concept the company revealed in 2020, but the design is a little more fleshed out than before. Roughly the same size as a Tesla Model Y, the car so far has 20-inch wheels, a completely digital infotainment and gear display that spans the entire dashboard, and is set to seat 7. There is information yet available about the car's planned engine block and powertrain. Number 6. Cadillac Interspace Another concept car to debut at CES. This car is one of the more futuristic designs to come out of Cadillac. The car is poised to seat two and offer the driver and passenger lounge-like luxury in day-to-day -day driving. The car also features a completely digitized system dashboard and infotainment system, and most importantly, it will be Cadillac's attempt at a self-driving car. The concept as it stands has no steering wheel or pedals. The safety and practicality of self-driving cars remain a challenge for manufacturers, so it is a good thing this is only a concept car. Number 5. Rolls-Royce 103 EX The future of the making is Rolls-Royce's choice of words to describe the 103 EX. They also are putting an immense amount of faith into this design, 
calling it their vision for the next 100 years. Poised to be built totally to individual specifications, this plush vehicle comes with an all-leather interior, a canopy convertible roof, and a panoramic skylight. It is also Rolls-Royce's answer to the Cadillac Interspace, meaning this is the company's vision for an autonomous vehicle. This self-driving car is equipped with artificial intelligence that Rolls-Royce is boasting about proudly on its website. The AI, named Eleanor, will come with every vehicle. Number 4. Volvo Polestar Precept According to Volvo, this unit is not a conventional concept car. It's the embodiment of our ambitions for design, technology, and sustainability. Poised to be Volvo's EV in 2024, the company brags that the car is built from sustainable material. Its interior is designed with all recycled materials. The car is poised to be one of Volvo's most technologically advanced units. It labels the infotainment system as a human-machine interface HMI, that will minimize driver distractions. Number 3. Mercedes Vision AVTR The Vision ATVR is a fascinating but mysterious concept. With a sleek body and wheels that practically glow, the autonomous car is one of Mercedes-Benz's boldest ideas. Details are still scant as the car has only recently hit showroom floors, but we can see from pictures it has a spacious leather interior and a one-bow design. Mercedes-Benz claims this car combines the design discipline's interior, exterior, and UX on an unprecedented scale. Number 2. Body Skisphere the biggest trends of concept cars these days seem to be either EVS or autonomous cars, or in some cases both. The Audi Skisphere is Audi's planned venture into the EV market, once again hoping to dethrone Tesla's reign as the top EV manufacturer. So designed as a convertible, it has a retractable, stowaway steering wheel and completely digitized controls and a cockpit. The concept also includes an adaptable wheelbase that sources say can change size depending on driving modes. Audi plans to exclusively offer EVs by 2033, with the last combustion engine poised for release in 2026. Number 1. Mercedes Vision EQ Silver Arrow Wrapping up our list is Mercedes' other latest vision. First introduced at Monterey Car Week in 2018, Newer versions have hit show floors by the end of 2021. The car is made out of carbon fiber parts that add to the car's functionality, like the front splitter and layout of the headlights crossing the entire front trim. Mercedes calls the interior a vision of the values of progressive luxury. From the outside, one sees only a driver's cockpit, leading one to believe the car is meant for only one, but lifting the car's roof-attached doors reveals a surprisingly roomy interior. The polished aluminum of the car's interior trim also adds to its sleek, futuristic appeal. Mercedes also plans for this to be a zero-emissions vehicle. That brings us to the end of this video. If you love similar content like this, take a look at my other videos. And if you like it, please smash the like button and make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. See you in the next video. The best luxury large SUVs are amongst the best family cars, as they're usually spacious, often have the option of seven seats, and are equally usually refined, comfortable, and luxurious. Here are the best luxury large SUVs, and which one is the best buy. So before we get started, make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for our future updates. Number 8. Range Rover If you're talking about the best luxury SUVs, there's no better place to start than with the Range Rover, the car that arguably started the idea of 4x4 being more than just utilitarian off-road machines. The current model may be a few years old now, but it still rules the roost when it comes to combining unparalleled comfort with genuine off-road capability. This is a car that's as happy on the school run as it is tackling sand dunes and rock-strewn riverbeds, something which we've experienced firsthand. Make no mistake, the Range Rover has lost none of its off-road capability. It remains incredibly refined, effortlessly wafting along at speed like a limousine with a wonderfully cost-saving ride and barely any outside noise thanks to an acoustically laminated windscreen and windows. 
At this budget, you can get a one-year-old Range Rover with low miles and high-spec autobiography trim. This is the ultimate four-wheel drive vehicle and feels worth every penny. Number 7. BMW X7 BMW isn't short of SUVs in its lineup, but the X7 dwarfs them all. This is a huge seven-seater that rivals the Range Rover, and at 5 meters long it's big inside and out. You won't be squeezing this into any small parking spots. Fortunately, BMW is on hand to help and the X7 comes with BMW's parking assistant plus a standard. This has 360-degree cameras and a reversing assistant, able to reverse the car for up to 50 meters by following the same route it took going forward. Great for reversing out of a parking bay, for example. When behind the wheel, you might expect to be intimidated by the size of the X7 in the first instance, but it's not as difficult to drive as its huge dimensions suggest. True, it's not exactly a looker, but there's acres of space inside, and it's wonderfully comfortable on long-distance drives. Number 6. Porsche Cayenne There was much eyebrow-raising when Porsche launched the original Cayenne in 2002, but along with the smaller Macan. It's now Porsche's best-selling model by a considerable margin. No surprise that other performance brands like Maserati and Lamborghini have followed suit. The latest Cayenne sees Porsche refine the performance SUV formula, making this by far the best handling SUV around, despite the competition. The interior has improved from the previous model with fewer buttons and a much more slick design. It even has things like Apple CarPlay and Android Auto now. Models range from the sensible plug-in hybrid Cayenne e-hybrid up to the thunderous turbo. There's even a Turbo SE hybrid, which combines both to provide no less than 680 pounds and a 0.62 miles per hour time of just 3.8 seconds. At this budget, you can get a year-old Cayenne S with very low miles. If you want something a little more sleek, look for the Cayenne Coupe. Number 5. Maserati Levant The Maserati name may traditionally be associated with exotic sports cars, but like many manufacturers, it has gone down the SUV route. The Levante is one of the best handling SUVs around, giving even the Porsche Cayenne a good run for its money. Yes, this may be an SUV, but it's still a Maserati. All Levantes come with adjustable air suspension, all-wheel drive. They do work off-road, we're assured. Torque vectoring, ride height adjustment, and a proper mechanical rear limited slip differential. There's huge amounts of grip, and while it may not be as enjoyable to drive as a KN, there's no denying how rapidly you can hustle the Levante through a series of corners. At this budget, you can get a nearly new Levante 3.0 V6S with just a handful of miles on the clock. It features a 350 pounds Ferrari built engine, while Grand Sport is the top trim to seek out. Number 4. Tesla Model X A car that needs little introduction, the Tesla Model X is the car that has spearheaded EVs in the SUV market. With its cold-wing rear doors, we won't judge you for pretending to be in Back to the Future and stunning performance. The Model X has shown that the switch to an electric SUV needn't mean having to comprise. Crucially, it also beat other manufacturers such as Jaguar and Mercedes to the punch. Tesla claims the latest Model X will now cover 300 miles on a charge and owners get free access to Tesla's charging network, although it's a bit mean that used buyers have to pay for it. Still, most buyers will be charging at home or work, which minimizes that problem. The Model X holds its value well, such as demand, and at this money you're looking at a two- or three-year-old model. The 75D is the entry-level model. Number 3. Audi Q8 the Audi Q7 may be the obvious choice here, but for something with a little more style, the Q8 floats our boat. Designed to rival the BMW X6 and the lesser-spotted Mercedes GLE Coupe, the Q8 sacrifices outright practicality for style and handling. Despite having less room inside, the Q8 is actually more expensive than its key 7 sibling. But then it does feel that bit more special and will certainly get more attention. Compared to the bloated X6, the Q8 is a handsome design. The Q8 manages to nail that balance of offering dynamic handling while being a proper comfy SUV. 
The ride is slightly more fidgety than in, say, a Range Rover Sport. But overall, this feels like your archetypal big, refined luxury 4X4. With a budget of £70,000, you can get a pretty much brand new, well pre registered Edition 150 TDI model, which comes with a huge standard specification. Number 2. Mercedes Benz GLE. The latest Mercedes GLE is a vast improvement on its dated predecessor in every area, most notably the interior, which now finally has the feel of a luxury SUV, crucial when it rivals the excellent BMW X5 and Audi Q7. It's also bigger than before, which means better cabin space and a bigger boot. Built in the US, the GLE can't match the BMW in the handling stakes though, but is at least comfortable thanks to Mercedes S-Class inspired air suspension, which scans the road ahead and adjusts to mitigate the impact of potholes and the like. The 404 Matic is the model to go for thanks to its big 3.0-liter diesel engine. The 300D uses a smaller 2.0-liter diesel, which although more economical, doesn't have the refinement you'd expect in a premium SUV. Number 1. Jaguar I-Pace With more and more drivers switching to EVs, Jaguar's decision to launch the I-Pace makes perfect sense. Global sales of EVs continue to rocket, and as the Tesla Model X has proved, people are clearly ready to switch to electric power in their SUVs. The Jaguar I-Pace boasts some impressive stats as well as being more practical than most electric cars on the market. Two electric motors produce 400 pounds and take it to 62 miles per hour in 4.8 seconds. The range is quoted at a Tesla model, hex rivaling 298 miles, which is enough for most journeys and almost far enough to rival patrols and diesels. It means there is very little compromise to make, and you'll rarely have range anxiety, unless you plan on huge trips. That brings us to the end of this video. If you love similar content like this, take a look at my other videos. And if you like it, please smash the like button and make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. See you in the next video. Presidents and heads of government are first citizens of nations and are required to be driven in some of the most baddest cars their country can offer. In the past, some presidents have been assassinated or attacked while on an official commute, and this has led to the production of cars with improved security. For reduced security worries, some countries fly their official state car for their presidential use when on state visits to other countries. Discoveries and constant technological improvement make it ideal for new presidents to order new cars that offer the latest and best security features. Therefore, this video highlights the 10 most badass presidential cars ever. So before we get started, make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for our future updates. Number 10. Vladimir Putin's Aura Senat Limousine, Russia Russian President Vladimir Putin drives an armored Aura Senat Limousine officially. The Aura Senat is built by Nagin I, a Russian state-owned company that also is the leading scientific organization in the Russian Federation in the field of automotive industry development. Reportedly fitted with a 6.6-liter V12 engine, produced as part of the Cortez project in partnership with Porsche and Bosch Engineering, this project is estimated to have cost $192 million. The car is fitted with state-of-the-art life-saving equipment, while also featuring some cool offensive and defensive tools up to standard with the Federal Protective Services requirements. Number 9. Xi Jinping's Hongqi L5, China Xi Jinping, the Chinese paramount leader, uses the Hongqi L5 as his state car. Launched in 1958, the Hongqi was famously used by former China leader Mao Zedong during President Nixon's state visit in 1970 before it was dropped in the 1990s by Chinese leaders for foreign vehicles. 2012 saw the return of Hongqi after its speech in favor of locally made cars for official use. The Hongqi is 5.5 meters long, 2 meters wide, and 1.5 meters high, and has a wheelbase of 3.4 meters and a 6.0 liter V12 engine that produces 402 horsepower. Number 8. Kim Jong-un's Mercedes-Benz S600 Pullman Guard, North Korea. 
The North Korean dictator, Kim Jong-un, who is against all sanctions and trade restrictions, actually owns a Mercedes-Benz S600 Pullman Guard. The Pullman is a fortified variant of the Mercedes S-Class. It takes approximately a year and a half to build and deliver the Pullman after it's been ordered. The Pullman Guard uses a 5.5-liter, twin-turbocharged V12 engine powering a 5-speed speed automatic with an output of 510 horsepower. Kim Jong-un's is the 2009 version that was valued at about $1 million on release. It is bomb-resistant and uses a V12 engine similar to that of Maybach-branded Pullmans. Number 7. Boris Johnson's Jaguar XG Love Sentinel, United Kingdom The British Prime Minister uses an armored Jaguar XJ LWB Sentinel. Following government policy that requires government officials to drive locally made cars, the British Prime Minister's car is built by Jaguar Land Rover, a British multinational car manufacturer. This Jaguar is a custom-built armored car fitted with a 5.0-liter V8 engine with advanced security features such as 13mm explosive-resistant steel plate flooring, bulletproof polycarbonate hardened glass, Kevlar and titanium fortified cabins, and run-flat tires. For protection against biological or chemical attacks, the car is provided with self-contained oxygen. Number 6. Scott Morrison's BMW 7 Series, Australia The Prime Minister of Australia, Scott Morrison, drives a BMW 7 Series limousine officially. The state car is referred to as C1, while this limousine was first used by former Prime Minister Tony Abbott. The Australian government ensures the car is flown ahead of the Prime Minister on his state visit travels for assured protection. These cars were originally acquired in 2014 to transport visiting dignitaries for the G20 summit in Brisbane. After the event, they were commissioned for Prime Minister's official use. This limousine has bulletproof doors, windows, and armored floors. It can withstand a roadside bomb. Number 5. Jair Bolsonaro's Ford Fusion Hybrid, Brazil The 38th and current president of Brazil, Jair Bolsonaro, uses a specially built 2019 armored Ford Fusion Hybrid, which shares the same platform as the Mazda G. Although a 1952 Rolls-Royce Silver Wraith is used by former Brazil presidents on special occasions. The Ford Fusion is used more for a daily commute and other official engagements, making it the more recognized state car. The car is given a 2.7 EcoBoost turbocharged V6 engine that does 325 up at 5,500 revolutions per minute. It comes with a six-speed gear that shifts smoothly through a seamless continuously variable transmission CVT system. This car comes with state-of-the-art security features. Number 4. Recep Tayyip Erdogan's Mercedes-Benz S600, Turkey After some constitutional amendment, the office of the President of Turkey ceases to be a ceremonial post, but an executive office with the full backing of the Turkish constitution. The incumbent officeholder, Recep Tayyip Erdogan, got elected and opted for Mercedes-Benz S600 as his official car. This car is an upgraded armored version of the S600 with a reinforced body built with titanium alloy and has 5 inches thick bulletproof doors that can resist light machine gun fires. The car is completely isolated from the outside to avoid chemical attacks and uses reinforced tires with internal steel cables. Number 3. All Trump's Cadillac Limousine, United States The United States presidential state car is a specially built armored Cadillac limousine nicknamed the Beast. Introduced on the 24th of September 2018, information about the Beast is more of speculations and assumptions as it was built with the supervision of the United States Secret Service, and they made sure that its details are a well-kept state secret. Nonetheless, the Beast is generally known to have 5-inch thick bulletproof glass run-flat tires and also known to be completely sealed off for protection against chemical attacks. It has onboard oxygen tanks, tears gas cannons, and night vision optics. Number 2. Angela Merkel's Audi A8L Security, Germany German Chancellor Angela Merkel stays true to the German range of cars as her official fleet of cars. She does her daily official commute 
in an armored luxury Audi A8L security. This car is specially built for the Chancellor and has all the security features needed to guarantee your safety in public. It's powered by a W12 petrol engine, which generates maximum power of 500 horsepower and a peak torque of 625 m. It has VR7 and VR9 ballistic certificates. It's expected to withstand shots from different kinds of weapons and grenades and even survive landmine blasts. Number 1. Emmanuel Macron's Peugeot 5008, France When the French president made it known he wanted a Peugeot 5008 as his presidential car, the Peugeot team had to take one off its assembly line and build it into a modern car fit to be the president's official state car. The car was built with safety as the topmost feature incorporated into it. Collaborating with Centigon Security Group, Puget got the presidential 5008 lined with armor plating thereby, making it both bulletproof and blastproof. That brings us to the end of this video. If you love similar content like this, take a look at my other videos. And if you like it, please smash the like button and make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. See you in the next video. Cars that can do more than run on road is undoubtedly a very good idea. Credit goes to WWE Guy for making cars that can swim. And though the largest numbers of incredible amphibious cars were made way back in the 1960s, the prospect of a car that can navigate waterways like a boat continues to attract inventors. Let's have a look on best amphibious cars of all time. So before we get started, make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for our future updates. Number 10. Gibbs Quad Ski This is the Gibbs Quad Ski, an amphibian that operates as both an ATV and a personal watercraft. Launched in October 2012 by Gibbs Sports Amphibians, the Quad Ski is a four-stroke amphiquad that converts to a personal watercraft. It features a top speed of 72 km a 45 miles per hour on both land and water, a proprietary marine jet propulsion system, and wheel retraction. The Quad Ski can transition between land and water in about five seconds. The Quad Ski uses Gibbs High Speed Amphibian HSA, technology which includes more than 300 patents and patents pending worldwide. Number 9. Amphicar The Amphicar is a German amphibious automobile, which first produced for sale to the public in 1961. The vehicle was designed by Hans Trippel and manufactured by the Quent Group at Lobeck and at berlin Borsigwald. The Amphicar was designed to be marketed and sold in the USA. Compared to most boats or cars, its performance was modest and only 4,000 were produced by 1965. Nevertheless, it is still among the most successful amphibious civilian autos of all time, and is still often prized and preserved as novelty collectible automobiles today. Number 8. Gibbs Aquata The Gibbs Aquata is a high-speed amphibious car developed by Gibbs Sports Amphibians in New Zealand. It's neither a modified land car nor a boat with wheels. Instead, it's a specially designed vehicle that's equally at home in the water as it is on dry terrain. It is capable of speeds over 160 km a 100 miles per hour on land and 50 km a 30 miles per hour 26 knots on water. The Aquata made history in March 2004 when Richard Branson piloted one across the English Channel in one hour, 40 minutes and 6 seconds, a new record. Number 7. Rinspeed Splash Well-known Swiss sports car tuning firm Rinspeed built an amphibious car in 2004. With a complicated hydrofoil design, the vehicle can go at a speed of 31 miles per hour, 50 kilometers slash a on the water, which is still pretty fast. Under 30 knots, the Rinspeed can cruise in water like a conventional boat, and on land it's even quicker boasting a top speed of 124 miles per hour, 200 kilometers slash air. This amazing hydro car is powered by natural gas, and it's the first amphibious vehicle to be fueled by this environmentally friendly resource. It has a 750 TC two-cylinder turbocharged engine, and its integrated hydrofoil design can be deployed at water depths over four feet. Number six, 
Siroder Lamborghini Countach. World's first amphibious Lamborghini. This is a mid-engine for ballast. Lamborghini Countach that was modded by Siroder Aquatech, Mike Ryan to be amphibious. If it's got wheels, I'll make it float. Boss Ryan, who has also converted Jeeps, motorcycles, a London taxi cab, and even an ice cream van into water-going vehicles. As you might imagine, converting a luxury sports car into an amphibious vehicle isn't a cheap undertaking. According to Ryan, the glass alone costs $3,007. Number 5. Gibbs Humdinga The five-seater Humdinga concept vehicle is a full-time Ford UBD powered by a 350 bhp V8 engine, capable of 160 km on land and on the water at 65 km. Designed by Gibbs Technologies, it was publicly announced in February 2012 and was created specifically to access remote and hostile terrain. Number 4. Hydra Spider An open-top, high-speed, and high-performance amphibious sports vehicle produced by Cool Amphibious Manufacturers International TAMI. The Hydra Spider is an ultra-modern, stylish, retro-looking part sports car, part speedboat. On land, it can reach speeds of at least 125 miles per hour, 201 kilometers slash a. While on the water, it can attain 53 miles per hour, 85 kilometers slash a. The standard production model weighs approximately 3,300 ohms and is powered by a Corvette ALS 26.0 liter V8 engine rated at 400 hours, 6,000 merm, and 400 feet. Number 3. Dauberton Hydrocar This aluminum-bodied, meticulously crafted amphibian is unique in that it literally transforms its shape from land mode to water mode with the flip of a switch. On land, its full-length articulating sponsons are raised and become the car's fenders. Upon entering the water, the sponsors are lowered nearly 8 inches to transform the car into a tunnel-hulled watercraft within a matter of seconds. Its main body is made of tight 304 stainless steel, so rust will not be a problem. Under the hood, it has a fully Dyno-tuned Chevrolet engine that produces 762 horsepower at 5,800 revolutions per minute. Number 2. Sea Lion You want a car that goes fast, a car that looks unique, a car that can transition into a speedboat in seconds. Well, there's a car for you, the Sea Lion Prototype the world's fastest amphibious land speed vehicle. Actually, it's not technically a car. Witt himself, the designer of car, calls it an amphibious world speed record competition vehicle. It was designed to set world records on land and on water. On a road, the Sea Lion clocks in at 125 miles per hour, 201 kilometers slash a. Not terribly impressive. But it's off the road where the Sea Lion shines. In the water, meanwhile, it can reach respectable speeds of as much as 60 miles per hour, 96 kilometers slash a. The body of the sea lion was made by using TIG welded 5052 aluminum and CNC milled. Number 1. Water Car Panther Is it a Jeep? Is it a speedboat? No, it's Water Car's Panther amphibious vehicle. A Californian-based car company, has designed the world's fastest amphibious car called the Panther, pictured above. For 13 years, Dave March, the founder of Panther, has dreamed about building a car that would perform equally well on water as they did on land. In fact, he wanted his cars to reach freeway type speeds in the water. The result was the Water Car Python, which became the fastest amphibious car in the world. That brings us to the end of this video. If you love similar content like this, take a look at my other videos. And if you like it, please smash the like button and make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. See you in the next video.